What's going on guys and today we have another episode of the transfer rumor this is gonna be episode two and we have seven big transfer stories some have already been completed and some are possible transfers that could happen we're gonna go into the first one as Alvaro Morata of course of Real Madrid now he has moved from Real Madrid uh, from Juventus sorry to Real Madrid this transfer window and I think it was a buyback clause that Real Madrid had on him because of course they used to have him before selling him to Juventus so they brought him back and now Chelsea are interested in buying him um, for roughly 40 to 50 million, which is quite a lot considering Real Madrid only got to buy him back um, from Juventus for 20 million or something around that. 40 to 50 million would be, a, would be a good bit of profit for Real Madrid. Would Chelsea go ahead with this though, as it does seem quite a lot of money for a not, um, in my opinion, not experienced enough player. Then we go to Eric Dyer. This is a very weird one, an Englishman going to Bayern Munich, you don't see that that often, but it looks as if this could happen, they are all looking very interested in the youngster, um, and it would be, probably be quite a lot of money, 30-40 million I'm thinking as well, so Spurs could make quite a lot out of um, one of their youngsters, of course they made 86 million off Gareth Bale, can make another amount of money off one of their players, it would be interesting to see if he does move to the Bundesliga, and it will be a very very big transfer for probably English football just in general, we then go on to the first confirmed one, I'm very happy with this, it is my home club, Celtic, and um, we have signed Moussa Dembele from Tottenham, uh, not Tottenham, sorry, Fulham, I, I was thinking at first when I saw it, I was like, wait, we're both saying Tottenham's Mr. Dembele. Then I realised it was the Fulham one who scored something like 20 goals last season, um, which is absolutely incredible for Fulham. He's a very, very good striker. I've seen a few clips of him, and he does look like a very, very good player. And for only £250,000, that is an absolute bargain. That is just incredible how we've gone for that cheap. Player, uh, teams like Dortmund, Man City, uh, Man United, Tottenham are all interested in this guy, but we have pulled out the bag and got him. We then go on to Musa, um, Musa Dembele, um, Sedu Dumbia, sorry, and yeah, this is a very interesting one as well. He has just signed for Basel, this is definitely confirmed, and I don't really know about Dumbia. He's kind of played for every club in the world, yet never done well <laughs> at them. He's played for like Roma, he's played for um, Newcastle, CSK Moscow, now Basel he's coming to and he's underperformed in all of them. I don't even think, I don't even can't remember him getting a game for Newcastle. So it'll be interesting to see how he does at Basel and see if he does better than he has done at previous clubs. We then go on to one that I would like to see happen as Hector um, Herrera. And if this one happens, it will be very, very good for um, Napoli. I can see them going far in tournaments if they have a strong midfield, and Herrera can help that happen. He has been incredible for Porto this season, um, and if they can get their hands on a player like Hector Herrera in their midfield, that would be absolutely insane, especially with like, Insigne, Higuain, Jose Callion, Hamsik, all that kind of playing off them. Um, they'll just they'll just tear up Serie A next season. It'll be very, very interesting to see. So that could be a great deal. And apparently, the medical is about to happen. But on to the next one, and it is going to be um, Robbie Brady going to Leicester City, of course, this guy has done well in the Euros, he scored two goals, I believe, he scored a penalty, and of course that header against Italy to send him through to um, the game against France, where he did score a penalty very early on in that game, he did get put out though, um, and it was quite upsetting to see, but that should be a very good transfer for Leicester, he has been a solid player in the Euros, looks like a solid player in general, and I don't think that it would be that expensive, because um, he does play for Norwich, of course, who have just been relegated, so... They might be letting go of their players for, for maybe not as much as um, you would expect them to. But anyway, guys, we're going to go on to the last player of today's of, um Well, it used to be of Marseille. He has just signed for Leon. Um, this could be an interesting deal. This this could be a very interesting deal. Um, I, I don't know how much better he will do at Leon. I think um, the clubs are pretty much neck and neck at the moment in. Um, week and if I'm wrong about that make sure to correct me in the comment section but it's not going to make a massive difference in FIFA because it is basically it, it does seem like he's not really moved that far you can still use them in the same squads and all that but from a Liam perspective they seem to be just building up their defence making it stronger and stronger and it is a very very good signing for them in my opinion one of the best uh, defenders in the league good and it'll be very interesting to see how he does next season but anyway guys that's going to be the end of the video hopefully you guys have enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button if you have subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel. Apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.